now it is hemochromatosis and uh, sometimes it can come in exam and uh, usually it can present as a hepatomegaly and, uh, and also as a signs for the chronic liver disease and uh, so uh, in this way it can present and uh, so you will diagnose it as a chronic liver disease or or hepatomegaly and then examiner will ask okay what could be the underlying cause for chronic liver disease and what could be the cause for hepatomegaly okay and uh, so you have to see there are certain features specific for hemochromatosis which you will look for and then you will make your diagnosis uh, confidently you can say that patient could have hemochromatosis now what could be the commands the commands will be the same as in the chronic liver disease or for hepatomegaly as I have explained before okay the commands will be same so what additional you will find that uh, you can say that this patient is having hemochromatosis or the cause for the under underlying chronic liver disease is hemochromatosis A patient will have skin pigmentation okay and it will be on exposed area sun exposed areas like face and uh, hand uh, this in detail I will tell you after some time just now I will tell you the signs so skin pigmentation you can find chylonychia and uh, insulin prick marks because such patients can have diabetes so in the left hand left thumb and index finger you will you have to look for insulin prick marks and uh, arthropathy okay so these are the features which you will see then you can say that patient has patient could have hemochromatosis so what will be your signs which you will in, which you can find on inspection you can expect all signs for chronic liver disease and any signs a combination of signs could be present okay and uh, they they could be hepatomegaly portal apprehension there could be saplenomegaly hepatosaplenomegaly and there could be cites and uh, gynecomastia, decreased body hairs and all other signs of chronic liver disease in the hands like clubbing and uh, dupuytren's contracture, pulmonary thema and then on the forearms and then on the face like these all signs in the combination of signs and uh, overlapping of signs sometimes also occur so you will diagnose it as a chronic liver disease but these additional features which I explained this will lead you to think for the diagnosis for hemochromatosis okay so now what you can find on inspection as I explained all signs for chronic liver disease in addition skin pigmentation you can see and uh, uh, if patient is exposed you can some scars you can find you can notice like flea botany scar on the elbows okay because uh, flea botany is being done in such patients because to decrease the iron overload and joint replacement scars because such patients have arthropathy so different surgeries are being done for this patient so joint replacement scars you can find and liver biopsy scar on the abdomen because uh, we, we, we are performing liver biopsy as well to diagnose it okay so these three scars please keep in your mind you can find okay so now few things I want to tell you that uh, in uh, hemochromatosis diabetes it is called bronze diabetes uh, because patients are having such color pigmentation or slate gray pigmentation okay jaundice may or may not be present again as a part of chronic liver disease skin pigmentation occur in more than 90 percent of the patient okay and one of the earliest sign of the disease and it you have to look it for, on the face and hands and it can vary in color from bones bronze to slate gray to metallic gray discoloration okay so this color pigmentation you can find and uh, you can find chylonychia as well and uh, it occurs in 50% of the patient and uh, you mostly you can find it on thumb and index finger okay gynecomastia and decreased body hairs you can find and uh, here it could be due to chronic liver disease or hypogonadism hypogonadism occur in, hem in hemochromatosis due to iron deposition in the pituitary gland okay so just this you remember if examiner asks the cause and you should know 
and hepatomegaly is a common presentation and malignancy is very much associated with it and um, when you will auscultate you, uh, you will auscultate the liver as well as I have explained and you will try to listen hepatic brui which again signifies hepatocellular carcinoma ok and arthropathy is also very common and there is pseudo gout and it is due to calcium pyrophosphate crystal deposition which are positive biofringent crystals ok and the most commonly affected joints are what these are metacarpophalangeal joints and proximal interphalangeal joint ok however you have to look the hips and knees for joint replacement scars and uh, uh, left thumb and index finger you have to look for insulin prick marks for the diabetes and uh, you, you may in this patient the common cause of death is congestive cardiac failure so you can find pedal edema, raised JVP, facial puffiness, dyslexic patient, crepes in the chest ok so like this and uh, this is autosomal recessive disease now how you will diagnose it uh, you can say that my diagnosis uh, it includes I will do iron profile and uh, fasting transparent saturation more than 60% in males and more than 50% in females is highly specific for the iron iron load ok and then uh, you can perform the blood glucose to look for hyperglycemia and ECG echocardiography and chest x-ray to look for cardiac failure and screening for hepatocellular malignancy and for that I will plan alpha phytoprotein and ultrasound abdomen and CT scan abdomen and liver biopsy if needed ok and I can go for genetic testing as well and look for C2A2Y and H63D mutations this will confirm the hemochromatosis diagnosis in over more than 90% of the cases ok so like this you will explain like when you are explaining the investigations uh, you have to tell the reason also what which test you will do and why you will do and what you will see ok like as I explained iron profile to look for iron overload blood glucose you will do in hemochromatosis to look for hyperglycemia and uh, to look for CCF, ECG, chest x-ray, echocardi echocardiography so like this you will explain ok it will leave a very good impression and mortality in here is due to CCF congestive cardiac failure and so what is the treatment for hemochromatosis uh, again many if they ask many management again your answer will be general and specific and specific includes medical like we can give iron chelating agents ok and uh, also we can go for phlebotomy as well and phlebotomy is the mainstay of treatment and initially one unit of blood should be removed once to twice weekly until transparent saturation falls below 50 percent ok and then maintenance phlebotomy is performed every three months and uh, if we are doing phlebotomy then it improves which symptoms of hemochromatosis it doesn't improve all symptoms and signs for hemochromatosis it improves only insulin sensitivity fatigue and skin pigmentation however arthropathy hypogonadism and cirrhosis do not respond to treatment ok and one thing more very important such patients are very much prone to have hepatocellular carcinoma and the risk for hepatocellular carcinoma is significantly it is increased ok so this is very common and we have to screen for that as I have explained by doing alpha phytoprotein ultrasound abdomen and CT scan abdomen and biopsy if needed and uh, so and cardiac complications it can cause CCF like it can cause cardiomyopathy like restrictive or dilated cardiomyopathy ok so uh, this is uh, all about um, hemochromatosis and iron chelating agent which we are giving it is desfroxamine so hopefully it is clear if any question uh, then you can ask please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you